Have you ever thought of eating like a medieval English king at one of his grand feasts? Not simple hearty peasant food, though a lavish banquet displaying expensive exotic fare worthy of your royal status. The form of curry, or the method of cooking in modern English language, is a cookbook containing 196 medieval English recipes which will give you that royal feasting feeling. It even includes a medieval recipe for lasagna. Now, let us learn more about this fascinating recipe document. The form of curry is named not for one particular manuscript, though a collection of recipes written in Middle English during 1390 AD by those master cooks who served King Richard II of England. It is thought to be the oldest existing English instructive cookbook ever written in the English language, and one of the oldest cookbooks written in Europe. The original manuscript is lost. Fortunately, its text also appeared in nine different incomplete manuscripts written in different periods. This famous medieval recipe book instructs cooks on how to create magnificent meals for royal banquets as well as common pottages and meats to be served at regular household meals. In addition, medical and philosophical experts were said to have been consulted when these medieval recipes were created. The form of curry is also the first English recipe book to mention ingredients such as cloves, olive oil, and gourds. Expensive, rare spices like pepper, ginger, and nutmeg are also used in various recipes, showing the high status of meals used for royal occasions. In addition, these exotic spices serve to provide captivating colors like red, yellow, and green to entice the eyes of important, hungry visitors. For royal guests, the form of curry contained unusual delicacies like curlew, heron, whale, and crane though other familiar ingredients like butter, honey, cheese, eggs, and geese are also given careful instructions for preparation. It has been suggested this book was made to compete with the French cookbook Le Viandier of Talivant, a popular recipe book written around 1300 AD. However, there are noticeable differences. The form of curry indulges in the use of sugar, with 31% of its recipes, excluding fruit, requiring this ingredient, compared to only 6% in the medieval French cuisine book. This is not surprising when one considers the sugar sculptures and elaborate sweets mentioned in the form of curry. It is interesting to note that although specific measurements are not given for ingredients, the authors of these recipes use cooking terms still in use today, like clarifying, boiling, and straining. In addition, there is no consistency to how recipes are presented in the form of curry, which is similar to other medieval cuisine books. For example, roasted meat recipes are mixed with vegetable recipes. Also, dessert-style recipes are mixed with salted recipes. Samuel Pegg, a Derbyshire vicar for many years, was also an antiquarian. This clergyman named and published the form of curry in London during 1780 AD. He created this edition from one key manuscript for the curator of the British Museum, Gustavus Brander. There are 196 recipes presented in this book, though different versions have slightly different numbers, such as one version with 205 recipes. The original roll was written in the language of Middle English and is the most recognized guide to medieval cooking in England which exists today. Surprisingly, other regional influences found their way into the form of curry recipes, such as Italian dishes. In fact, one sees from the recipes detailed in this book that Southern Europe had a greater influence than France. One great example is a recipe from the 14th century called lasagne. Today we notice lasagne is similar to the modern version of lasagna. With lasagne, even the preparation of layering pasta sheets is familiar. However, since tomatoes were not present in Europe until after the Columbus voyage of 1492, they are absent from the ingredients list. Here is the modern English translation of preparation from the form of curry. Start of quote. Take good broth and put in an earthenware pot. Take fine white flour and make with a paste with water and make from that foils as thin as paper with a roller. Dry them hard and seethe them in the broth. Take grated soft cheese and lay it in dishes with spice powder and lay over it the pasta layers as many and as thick as you wish and above powder and cheese and so two or three times and serve it forth." End of quote. There is an absence of meat in this recipe, which we commonly associate with the modern version of lasagna. Another important point is that this medieval recipe does not mean lasagna was an English creation. 
Lasagna was mentioned in an Italian poem from 1282, which was recorded by a Bolognese notary in the work called Bolognese Memorials. This was a century before its mention in the form of curry. Today, many people are fascinated by the recipes contained in the form of curry. Amateur and master cooks alike try to replicate these royal recipes using modern ingredients and their own interpretations of these instructions. As for the original recipes, the current home to one key manuscript of the form of curry is the John Rylands Library in Manchester. It contains 194 recipes on vellum. This version was purchased in 1901 from Lord Crawford by Mrs. Rylands for its famous collection. Thank you for supporting us at Medieval Modern. Please be sure to watch another episode shown at the end of this video. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I wish you good tidings as we remember that sharing knowledge has been a noble deed throughout the ages.